In today's video, I'll be talking about Samsung's Enhanced X Photo Editing app. It's a powerful AI tool and it can help your photography in a variety of ways. So let's jump in and check it out. Into the Galaxy Store and up on the right corner here, you can see a search and you write down Enhanced X. As you can see, I already have it here uh, below. So I'll push that and there it is. Now that we have downloaded the Enhanced X app, let's go into it and bring in some photos and see what it can do. So we're opening the Enhanced X app and select picture to edit and it takes you to your library. In here, I've downloaded some of my photos. So let's start with this floating picture that I made a couple of years ago. And you can see on the lower part here, it's HDR, Brighten, Fix Blur, Sharpen and more. And then you have a star icon there that uh, does the magic wand stuff. But let's start with the HDR, push that one. And you can see there is a before and after slide. So you can see the effect that you are applying. You can see here when I'm going from left to right and the opposite direction, you see that the picture changes. If you can see on the below the picture here, there is different strengths. You have zero, one, two, three, and four, and that decides the strength of the uh, effect that you want to apply. So if we take it uh, all the way down to before, push zero, this is then the original picture. And if I then push full strength, this is the effect that this HDR will give. So if we go 50-50, you can see how it uh, affects the picture after and before. So this is before and this is after. And this comes to taste how much effect you want to apply on your photo. So it's uh, just playing around and see what you prefer or if you just want to keep your original picture. So then cancel, we can go to brighten and this is the same. Uh, there is an effect four and zero slide back and forth to see the difference uh, two or three can be a okay starting point so it doesn't get too strong of effect in the in the photo but again it's uh, taste is subjective it's all up to you and how you want to make your photo fix blur then it takes a little time. The AI in the program starts to work and tries to figure out what he wants to do. So there you can see, and you really starts to, you really need to start pixel peeping to see if there is any change. And fix blur, I'm not gonna uh, talk more about that. If we go to sharpen, here you can see, it's the AI doing its, its work. So sometimes you can see there is a change, sometimes you don't see it. So again, it's just playing around. And then if we go to more, there we have what I talked about. There is less option on the Exynos, I believe, because you can see all the things that are grayed out there. Uh, I have remove reflection, remove shadows and increase resolution. And there is one option, I'm not sure why, maybe if I have a smaller photo, then maybe I get more options to upscale it, uh, or else it's just the Axonus app. So if you have the Snapdragon and the S22 Ultra, just comment below if it works for you, then it is the Axonus. If we go back in there, remove shadows, then the AI starts to work again, tries to figure out how he wants to make the photo takes a little while some while sometimes and here we go and then we can slide to see the effect so if you see the trees on the right side and the greens there you can see the effect and i actually prefer before than after so it's a tasting it's up to you and how you want to make it and then we have the the magic uh, stars here, if we push that, then it's the total package the AI uh, brings into the photo that you have uh, uh, started. So you can see here, actually not much difference at all, maybe a little brighter and sharper. So 
Sometimes it's a lot and sometimes it's not too much. If we go back, just discard. Let's try a different photo, maybe this one from a place uh, five minutes from where I live. Very beautiful in the summertime where the sunset is. Let's go HDR and see what it can do. Here is before and here is after. So here we can see a quite good change in the photo. I actually prefer the after uh, picture and the strength is on two. So if we go all the way down, push zero, this is the original and let's do full strength and see. And I actually prefer this photo after, so it's quite nice. So that's the HDR function on this application. So you can actually get some good uh, result by using this uh, Enhance X app. Let's go cancel. Then you have Brighten Fix Plus. So you have the same options uh, uh, on uh, each uh, photo. So if you go back out, see if you can take another option, maybe this one, the Dragonfly. Let's go HDR. So you can see it's bright, it brightens up the picture quite good. If we try to zoom in a little bit, let's see what it does. So you can see there, dark and it brightens it up. If we go before, zero strength to full strength, and that's the change. So it has a good effect on the photos. Some photos uh, will be successful or you will enjoy the change or some photos you will just uh, go back to the original. So there is a testing uh, back and forth and see what you enjoy. Let's see if we try the, the cat, go HDR there and take a look. So there you can see actually got a little softer, the colors changed a little bit. So again, it's all about what you like. So if you go full strength, this is before, this is after. So it got really soft and a kind of a little blurrier uh, after. So sometimes you have to play around with the strength as well, maybe not so much. Maybe that's better or prefer the before. So it's a hit and miss. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. That was it. It's a very simple application. You download it from the Galaxy Store, bring the photography that you've taken into the application and start playing around with the different options. My name is Chris. If you like this video, please subscribe, maybe like the video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.